Hello, my name is Brenda Izquierdo and this is the user guide video for the Car Recommendation System project. My team member is Cifel Bain and our product owner is David Villegas. This is my use case diagram. I work it on the registration by allowing the user to create his own account, verify the email in the account, and reset his password in case he forgets it. The user can also view his profile information, update it as he sees fit, and change his password from inside his account. If the user wishes to sell a car, he will fill a form and the car will be added to the general inventory of the website. The user can also manage his own private car inventory and update it if he wishes so. I also work on the contact seller functionality, which allows the user to send an email from the website to a seller regarding a car he wishes to purchase. And this is my partner Steve's use case diagram. He worked on the login, logout, view cars and favorites features, and, but mainly he worked on the car recommendations by implementing the distance recommendation and the support vector machine recommendation. But no more words. Now it's time for the demo. The first actor is going to be the seller. So this is the web interface for the car recommendation system. We have the login form, the login button, the forgot your password link, the don't have an account yet, register for free link. Let's start with this one. I'm going to create my own account. The email that I'm using is going to be bicsnzebraqu002 at gmail.com. Click on register and now I have my new account. Before I do anything, I'm going to go and verify that account for security purposes. I must have received an email from Meteor showing me what steps I have to take to verify the account. And here it is. How to verify the account and click on this. And now the account is verified. Email verify, you're now logged in. You have the home template, the favorites template, the cell template, profile, inventory, and the logout button. So let's start with the profile view. Here is the information that I enter when I created the account. My name, my email, my phone, my address, state, and zip code. I have three options, update, change password, or delete the account. Um, let's say my new name is going to be Peppa Pig. I'll leave my address as it is, state, zip code, phone number, change, update. Now you're going to see the changes there. The only entry that we cannot update is the email because that's how we get the account in the first place. Now let's say that we want to change the password. I enter the old password and now a new one. Alert, you're about to be automatically logged out. Log into your account using your new brand password. Cool. Now let's log out again. And that's it. So now we have seen the profile template. Now let's look for um for the sale template, of course, we are the seller actor. No. I want to sell some cars, so I'll go and retrieve the image from my computer. I want to sell a Bugatti Chiron. I'm gonna upload it and... Upload is completed and now I'm gonna copy that directly. This is how we get the link to the image. Now it's a Bugatti. The only version that we have is Veyron, so let's sell it like uh, Yeah, this one will do. Uh, let's assume the millage of the car we're selling is 30,000 and the price is going to be 1 million. Yes, perfect. 
so now we click on sell car and now we're taking to the inventory view and we're gonna see the new car added there let's see the details of this car as you remember we only enter a few of them just a However, we find all of these here because uh, we implemented an API call for this um, for the cell uh, feature. We want to update this. We don't want it to be a Bugatti anymore. Let's say we want it to be a Cadillac. Now the model menu changes as well. A CTS Coupe 2013, a Premium Tudor Coupe, and now uh, we have different options for each of these attributes. Let's say a black diamond tree coat. Uh, let's make the millage 45,000 and click on update and now we see the changes here now it's a Cadillac CTS scope different millage and now let's see the details the details change as you can see we even have these additional fees here let's go back and let's sell other cars Now we have our own inventory set up. Um, let's uh, look for another feature. For example, delete. Let's say we no longer want this card, the last that we added. So we click on delete and it disappears. So now we have seen the uses of the profile and inventory tabs and the cell tab as well. Let's go to home. Since I am the first to be logged in into the website, uh, only the cars that I uploaded appear here. But as more users sell their cars, the general inventory is going to be more populated. So now we have show how to sell cars. And the next user actor is going to be the buyer. Now we're back again in the car recommendation system. Now let's create a new account. The account name is going to be Peppa and the email is going to be Queen Peppa Pig. Password Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. And now we have another account, first thing. Now Peppa's account is verified. Let's say that Peppa wants to buy cars, not sell them. So um, uh, here's the profile information of Peppa and the inventory is empty so far. So let's go to home and Peppa is gonna start uh, sliding the cars to see which one is the best one for her. Hmm, not too many options. Let's say Peppa wants this car, the first one here. She's gonna check for the information. Hmm, looks good, Cadillac, good. She's gonna like it. Once she likes it, the car is gonna make it its way to the favorites list. Where she can see the information again, if she wishes so. Let's go back to home. 
Peppa can also see the system recommendations. And as she sees, this car is the best one for her according to the system. So Peppa is gonna go and contact the seller. But how can she do that? In here, she can just click here in the contact seller info and click there. And she's gonna find an email form that will contain her name, email, phone number, and a message template to send to the seller. But she can also do this. Go straight here to the recommendation section and click on send email to seller. It's gonna take her to the same form. Okay, so Peppa is okay with information entered, but she wants to add something to the message. Now Peppa is gonna click on send. So we get a message has been sent. Um, notice. Now let's visit Peppa's email. And this is the response from the seller. Thank you, I received your inquiry, I will be contacting you soon. Let's check what the seller received. This is the seller account. So the seller received an email from Queen Peppa Pig. Hello, my name is Peppa Pig. I am interested in the Black Diamond Tricot 2013 Cadillac. Contact me as app. I will pay in cash. You can reach out to me at 78. So, so far, it's so good. This is how the seller, communi seller buyer communication takes place. So now let's continue looking at the cars. Let's also add this one as a favorite so we can have two favorites now. But let's add the other one as a favorite too, here. And let's check where is it located. Map. Hmm, not far away, that's cool. So we have the favorites, the cell, the profile, the inventory, so far it's empty. How about if we add a car? So let's say Peppa wants to sell her Kia. So now Peppa has a car in her inventory, and if we go to home, the car is added to the general inventory of the website, in here. And Peppa's information appears there as well. Now let's say we want to log in, but we forgot the password. Email sent, check your mailbox, okay. How to reset your password. Click on the link below, new password. We enter just any new password and we are logged in again. So these are all the functionalities of the car recommendation system. Thank you so much for watching this video.